Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well out there. My name is Michael Pomizano, and uh, welcome to the channel. This comes from Eric Clark Smith. I'm on my website, guitargate.com, and he hits me. Oh, look, he's in Baltimore, like me. Love it. Uh, with Talking Heads cover by Smashing Pumpkins. He goes, hey, I saw you did a comparison video of Marin Garcia playing the same song. This made me think of you. Check this out. It's, three, it's 3312 on the timestamp. Cheers and have a great weekend. All right, let's do it. Eric, thanks for being a subscriber on the website. And this is for you, man. Let's hit the button if it'll let me. I have no idea what Billy Corgan's going to do with a Talking Heads cover. <laughs> just checked my tuning yeah I am dead on it's 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 just it's it's not it's not you don't get all the way to E and it, but it's not quite D sharp it's it's right in between what a filthy rip I have no idea how this is gonna be a talking head song See what I mean? It's like it's C sharp is the low note, right? And then it's but it's 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 in between D sharp and E. It's it's oh, I love the. It reminds me of like Pantera Walk. Like it's that little that little thing that's in between that just. That's where, like, all the gravity is. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, slap on the face. And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. You may find yourself Dude, he's an animal. Living in another part of the world. You may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. You may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself... What a great drum fill. Listen to the subtle ghost notes on the snare. With a beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself...
so heavy. I love it, man. You know, okay. I have not listened to many, much Smashing Pumpkins in a long time, okay? <laughs> this is this is totally filthy. I love it. This part where he just goes again from C sharp to F sharp minor, just like the one to a four thing, right? One minor to a four minor, but just it's just so much dirt and grease in there. And then to just sit back into that, you know, that. Just pushing, just not quite getting to that flat three, right? Man, it's just, it's so, um, God, one of the things that I just, man, I need to listen to more Smashing Pumpkins, but this just makes me think of all the, I feel like all their songs, they all have this simple evil. To them like there's it's there's this dark thing right but then it's it's simple it's simple and it's accessible and that's it's like it i we're gonna do more smashing pumpkins hit the button Okay, so again, I just guessed there. Pretty sure that's that's gonna be what time it is. Let's see real quick. Yeah. So here's your C sharp, right? That's that's where we're grooving, right? That, right? And you're coming a minor third, and you just descend it one one fret at a time, right? And what happens is when you're here, it's C sharp, or, or your root, if you will, and your major sixth. And as you descend, one step at a time, you now enter the fifth of C sharp and your flat seven. So while this might seem like a random chromatic little thing, this is just a minor third, hammer on and pull off, that connects the root, and you descend till you get to another chord tone, the fifth and the flat seven. So hot, hot little takeaway that you can use um, uh, just whenever you want to get spacey. I initially thought it would be starting from the fifth, but I recognize the little minor third spacing hammer on pull off. And you would typically, it's like a turnaround. Like you either go to the fifth or away from the fifth, but it's always that little descending thing. So it's one of those two places. You can start on the root, you can start on the flat seven, but the point is descend in minor thirds until you get to the next spot of your chord tone and it will connect. You don't have to know the theory of all the little notes in between. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So, so, so. Uh, now, what what is going on here? It he's there's something weird that's happening here. That he's in, is he in a different spot? Okay, all right, all right, all right, yeah. Okay, so he's, he's, he's in a, this little move, man. Okay, um, wow, I'm getting beat on pretty good here. Uh, okay, 
he's in a he's in a he's in a drop tuning, okay? Or is is he's in a different he's in a different tuning. Uh, so uh, I was just visually looking at the licks, and I was just like, okay, there's, some, there's, there's just something off that's happening here. Um, but what's so cool about it is that, like, I want to say he's like the way to explain it is like he's sitting on top of the harmony, like the whole groove is this this. But he's he's got this like this like. It's like on top, right? It's pushing ahead of it. And the same way he's got this sweet ass descending line here, you know, he does this great little run. It goes all the way to the top, this like super open nasal, you know, wah wah spread. And then it's just little note by note that like just falling off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in the wildest way ties it together because he set it up beforehand with that thing. Hold on, I gotta watch this again. If you guys are new to this channel, this is just how it goes. Um, I haven't encountered a weird and wild solo like this in a minute. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know if I forgot or if I never knew how bitchin' this band is. There's no shot I figure any of that lead out right now. I'm feeling so many different emotions. I'm so scattered. I'm so it, uh, just captured by Billy and the drums and how huge this sounds. And then it's a talking head song. Like This is a complete teaching fail moment right here. I'm just kind of taking this in like I'm seeing them for the first time. This is just filthy. Every piece of this is filthy. I know I've been just blabbering here, but damn it, this is how I feel right now. One of the coolest things I have ever seen. Man, what year is this? This is right now, this is 2022, 514 in Redondo Beach, California. Man, do we need this in our lives or what? Um, this is so heavy, it's so filthy. It's I can't believe this is a Talking Heads cover. It's so unapologetically frightening, right? He is just like, this radiant being from another planet. I just, I don't, I, I feel like I said it on a recent video, the KISS video. I was like, where are all the rock stars? Where are all the larger than life creatures, right? Where it seems like you and I could never be that person and do those things with that conviction and become this character live. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about Billy Corgan. Watch this! And the band, the band, the band is so on fire. The drums. Get 
tell him. Another minor, minor third to a G <laughs> out of nowhere. Like, look at the figures. What are these chord voicings? Yes, there is water at the bottom of the ocean. Under the water, carry the water. <laughs> Find the water at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, uh, Eric Clark Smith from Baltimore, from Catonsville. Dude, dude, man. Okay, you made my day. Holy shit. Okay, I, uh, again, perhaps forgot or perhaps never knew, or maybe it just caught me in this moment. Billy Corgan and Smashing Pumpkins are fucking awesome i can't believe that's in 2022 again where are the rock stars where are the big huge evil simple unapologetic like just just themes and sounds and shows and and characters uh it's it's just it's it's i need to do more i need to do a deep dive i've <laughs> I don't know what to say. I didn't teach a single thing in this lesson. I didn't learn a, a single part of that solo. Um, I just, sometimes you have to just take it in. Uh, and, uh, and wow, I was going this way today, and this just sent me this way. And I am, <laughs> I am grateful for it. Holy shit. I usually don't even cuss on this channel, but this like, damn it, this fucking awesome. Heavy. Anyway, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, drop in the comments what you think. And again, if you want to pick what comes next on this channel, uh, this is a thank you that I do for my students uh, at guitargate.com. So if you take my lessons, you take my courses, you can be like Eric. You can upload to this uh, page. And uh, I pick all my Reacts requests from there as a thank you. So if you want to do that, click the first link in the description. And uh, it's 15 bucks, And that's my little pitch. And I love you all. Cheers. See, I did not see this one coming today. There's no shot.